Just had to redo some things, and um, I'm going to keep attempting at this until until I get it. I, I've got I've got all my windows set up now, so I can uh, I can actually see what's going on, and I can look both at my OBS and my. Uh, YouTube uh, live stream dashboard at the same time. Uh, yes, I am buffering, and um, uh, that's just the way it is. Okay, uh, I like the uh, I like the quality of the recording, even though I've, I've set my bit rate low. Anyway, uh, let's get into this. Um, I think it's going to um, uh, work. It's just going to have to deal with some buffering. Anyway. Uh, with this live stream, I guess I say th three times a charm. Uh, this is the third attempt. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, today's live stream is going to be about um, uh, creating uh, uh, thumbnails and, and checking it, um, and how how I check my thumbnails. Um, this may or may not work for you, but if I can put something out here that can benefit uh, those uh, regardless of what your channel size is um, that's what my intention is you know whatever way I can help um, uh, even with all the buffering and all the other stuff that I have going on anyway let me get into this here let's just get into this and get going um, here is my phone oops yeah yeah, see, it's a little tiny, and this is, uh, get back in here, okay, there we are, there's my phone, and as you can see, it's a really small phone, um, the screen is small, but, uh, with all these changes, I've been working on thumbnails for a while, but, um, in recent times, um, and especially with all the changes with YouTube, um, I've really been looking more into analytics, and I really haven't put too much in. I, I, I checked analytics through the last year, but not really deeply. It's only been in the last uh, month and a half or so. And when I started checking the details of my analytics, I realized that uh, most of my, my viewers are viewing on either a mobile device or a mobile phone. Uh, many people, many of my viewers uh, view on a desk, uh, on their computer, on their, their desktop. Uh, about roughly, I don't know the, I don't have the exact percentages in front of me. Uh, roughly about 45% on the computer. And then the, about the other 55% or though combined with the mobile and cell phone. Uh, that's, that's more than half of my viewers. So either they're watching it on a, uh, a tablet or, or a phone. So it's important for me to be able to produce quality results that you can see on your phone. So if you're if you're one of these people and you're trying to watch one of my videos on a small phone like this, and I don't have my thumbnail set right, you won't uh, be able to really even read or um, understand what I'm what I'm doing. That was in my my um, discussions with some of the uh, uh, some of the groups I belong to. Uh, I, you know, it was brought to my attention, and then I went and um, I'm going to give you some examples, show you some some good uh, thumbnails versus uh, my my most recent thumbnails versus uh, some older uh, thumbnails, and you should be able to see the difference here. Uh, let me get into that. Oh, and uh, before I start showing you thumbnails, and before I wind down, this is. Um, this isn't going to be a real long a live stream. I'm just trying to I'm trying to test things out, and um, uh, I still obviously I have still have a lot of bugs to work out, but but um, but uh, I'm getting there. And again, I want to thank Nick Nimmin for the video text chat. I don't see anybody on there, but that's fine. Um, I got that in there, and um, with that. Nick Nimmin's help actually um, helped. I've got the browser, uh, the browser source, all right, uh, and that sort of thing. But that's that's for a different video. We 
want to get back into the thumbnails. Um, and let me turn on my phone here. And let me give you an example of uh, what, we, what, what I'm talking about here. I'm going to show you why it's important to have uh, a quality thumbnail quality thumbnail that uh, see I can do something on my laptop and uh, if I make it quality that will show up good on a phone it will still look you know good on a uh, tablet and the, on the computer so so I'm, I'm focusing my thumbnails to look really good on a small device so let me go into my YouTube here show you let's see, go to my channel we're gonna go to my videos uh, okay go to videos okay uh, everything's kind of slowing down because I got all these things going on and that's probably part of the reason why I'm having the, the lag okay now here we go okay you, on these top three uh, videos here on my my channel let's see see if I can get this where you can see it see okay there you go see see especially the Roku and the streaming there you can see it on the phone okay now let me give you an example of what I was talking about ah, I went to another screen okay what we got here okay go back to go back here and I'm going to show you an older one I'm going to be fixing even though I don't have many views on some of these other ones, but I'm going to give you an example on one of my older ones here. Okay, I do a lot of sports stuff. Now, if you look, this is a real mess. Okay, this one on the on the Lions here. Um, and look, uh, you got my face on there, but you got the text. You got all this stuff. It's really busy. It's really, really ugly. I'm getting rid of those thumbnails and I'm replacing it with other ones um, currently um, because that's just a, a nightmare. You just can't can't see it. That's that was the point of this live stream. I just want to show you how I'm doing it. Um, so what what I do now, when I, whether I do a live stream or whether I do a regular recorded video. Uh, whether it's with my DSLR or on my webcam or, or, or whatever, when I create my thumbnail, after I get all the, the, the you know, everything done and uploaded, I go right to my phone and then I check and then I will know um, if I can't read it on my phone. And it's like, okay, I need to fix this thumbnail because if I can't read it, then my viewer can't read it. And they're gonna say, "What? What is this? This is a bunch. This is a mess." So this is part of the part of the things that I'm doing to help improve the quality of my channel. Uh, and then I'm going across the board. My channel is like. Um, I'll give you a good analogy. It's kind of like a car with a with a broken down engine. I had a '66 Chevy, um, and I drove up to the snow, up to the mountains of California one time. I was 18, 19, something like that. Didn't have any antifreeze in it. Cracked the block. Had to have it towed all the way back. Uh, got the cherry picker. I had to redo the engine from from the pistons on up. I, I had, we bought a brand new engine. Uh, a short block and built it myself from that from from the pistons on up then that's kind of what I'm doing with my channel I looked at it needs a lot of work so I got the cherry picker out and I'm going across the board and that's what I'm doing and whatever I can possibly do to help you my viewers um, that's what I'm gonna do uh, working at it every day uh, so with, with that said, um, I'm going to finish off. And if you uh, uh, like what you see, um, you can check out the scroll that I have there, the ticker. Uh, uh, feel free to check out my blog. Um, but again, um, uh, go into the description, uh, click the uh, subscribe button. Uh, I've got the cards on there. So you know, at the end, uh, 
be sure to check out what I have on the cards. I think I have three, three or four cards. I can't remember how much I put on yet. I think I put three cards, but anyway, uh, check those. And uh, also uh, hit the bell notification uh, because my schedule, which is what oh, I'm determined to keep up with two videos uh, during the week and a live stream on Saturday. But uh, my live streams are going to alter um, alter based um, based upon um, uh, the, the football season. Um, and uh, so I'll probably be doing live streams during the week during football season, but that's that's for another thing. Anyway, um, I just wanted to get this out of the way. A uh, quick live stream, and um, we're just going to have to see how it goes. Uh, going to probably see more live streams, and there are probably going to be more more mobile live streams. Probably and the uh, for for the simple reason is is that I'll have a, a smoother uh, uh, live stream from my mobile unit than I will from OBS. OBS for now will work fine on my recordings, but um, um, it looks like I just my my output is just uh, too just not good enough, um, and my quality is going to suffer. So I would much rather start doing more live streams on my mobile and have a have a smooth uh, running uh, live stream from that than uh, what I've got going here with the OBS but that's okay um, I'll be evaluating this it's gonna I'm, I'm gonna uh, publish it and make it go live but um, uh, it'll give me some things to, to look at and um, buffering and all that. Anyway, that's it. I've rambled enough. Um, I hope that this has helped you. Um, as far as thumbnails go, that way, you know, when you when you do it, you can create it. You look at it on your phone. And if it looks like a mess, then you need to tweak it. That was the point of my message. I will talk to you later. Um, Monday or Tuesday will be my next video. Um, not sure which one, what it's going to be yet. I got a ton of notes. Um, anyway, talk to you later. Have a good day.